Yeah, this is my first League 2 game. I've, I've played, I think, 90, 96 games. I asked my manager at the uni, so I played 96 in the Lowland League with the, with the Stirling Uni. So, yeah, this is my first uh, appearance in the, in the leagues, as you like. So, yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Happy to... Yeah, it was a bit of a slog to start with, I think. Um, a few mistakes, and they had the hill and the, the wind in the first half, which helped them, I suppose. Um, but in the second half, we were fighting back, but we, we just couldn't really find that, that ball that didn't drop to us. But um, now I'll be looking to... To, to get better next week and hopefully get those points. I was uh, invited in for a week at Livingston, uh, f just just for a week. So no, that was really good. Great experience. All the boys were, were great with me, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So uh, that was good. My manager at Southern Uni phoned me and just said, "Listen, there's a wee bit of interest at Elgin. How do you feel about it?" And can I just told me what what would be, be the case at Elgin? Uh, and he said, Ex you know, "Expect a, a call from the, the manager at Elgin." So yeah, Gav phoned me and we had a, we had a good chat and. Uh, yeah, I was excited to get going. I mean, yeah, he spoke well, so yeah, I'm just happy to be here. And there's a couple of your ex teammates here at Elgin yeah. as well, obviously, because Rory McEwen and, and Angus Miller both both yeah. came for the uni team as well. Yeah, no, I was, it's obviously when Elgin, I heard about Elgin, I was, yeah, I was buzzing because Rory and, and Angus were at the uni, so yeah, I, I got on well with those two. Um, and I know Rory especially, he gives me a bit of stuff. I can play anywhere in the midfield, I can go both ways, I'm both footed, so I'd like to see I'm a goal threat, I can keep the ball well, make chances. Um, so hopefully just bring a, bring a bit of composure as well um, and hopefully just score goals and make goals for the team to go and get some three points. Because it's going to be a tough battle for that playoffs and, and there's a lot of teams fighting for it in League 2 and that's that's obviously the, the aim that Gavin's got really so the, the squad's going to have a big part to play in a, in a fair glut of fixtures. Definitely, I mean uh, I looked at league, the league table when, when I heard it was coming and we're, we're, I think, are we, am I right saying we're psyched just now still? Yeah, so definitely an incentive to, to go and get as many points as we can because we want to push for promotion. And uh, with two games a week, that, that hopefully means plenty of game time for a lot of the boys. So we all need to stay sharp and, and do our bit to try and get the team in the press when we get that chance. And you're cup-tied, you don't, you don't get involved in Tuesday night's game against there, do you? No, I, I'm cup-tied, so uh, it's a frustrating one actually because there's my I used to play for there. Okay. When I was younger, I, I played there when I was between 15 and, and 18. So I'd have liked to be able, been able to be involved in that, but unfortunately I'm cup-tied because uh, Played in the preliminary rounds with the uni, so frustrating one, but a, a, a great chance for the boys to go out and show what they've got. I, I want to aim to play as high as I can, and, and El, I see Elgin as a, a great kind of stepping stone for me. Um, it's, it's a great, it's a good club, great setup, and I, I just want to focus on, on doing what I can for Elgin first and foremost, and, and play well for, for this team. Of course, you always get this uh, this question asked about your famous grandfather and everything. I, I get on well with him. He's uh, it's, it's obviously great to have him. I speak to him quite a lot, especially as I've gotten older, but. Uh, no, I'm, I'm keen to kind of make my own name and uh, not use him much, to be honest, because I, I'm a young player and I want to, to just try and play football as high as I can. And no, I, I don't want to be always known as Craig Brown's grandson. So. I bet you. I bet he's given you plenty of good advice over the years, huh? <laughs> plenty of rubbish advice as well. <laughs> <laughs> no. Will he be tuning in on the live stream, do you think? Could it, uh, any of the games maybe to watch at home? Aye, he, he probably will be, actually. Um, him and my dad, they'll probably be tuning in. My family, yeah, they'll tune in, definitely. Oh, they'll be wanting to see you yeah, yeah, progress and obviously they'll be become Elgin City fans oh, for the rest absolutely. of the season. The Browns are, the Browns are Elgin uh, City supporters, aye. So, yeah, they'll, they'll hopefully see me, they'd like to see me score and, and uh, see Elgin doing well. So, yeah, they'll be tuning in for sure. Because goals are a big part of your game as well. I think you scored quite a few for the uni team, haven't you? Yeah, well, last season I was the top goal scorer from midfield. Mm -hmm. um, and f funny this season, I've not actually scored many. I, I scored one in the Scottish Cup, and I've I've not not scored in the league. Um, but I was out at the start of the season because I had coronavirus, so I, I missed a few games. All right. Um, so I had to battle my way in to get back in the team. But but no, I'd like to say I'm a goal threat uh, and create chances as well uh, for the boys to go and score.